Okay, so here's the deal. Here's the problem with using a game engine. Game engines give you a lot of pre-canned stuff out of the box that's really easy to use. Anyone can learn to use it, create a game really quickly, but it comes at a really big cost. Um, so when you create an object in the, in, in the world, you get all this overhead that comes with it. Um, part of that is how the object hierarchies work in Unity, for example, and half the problem that we're, with robotics was just how how janky PhysX is under Unity, and it's, yeah, yeah. I don't think we'll have that problem. Because we're gonna use our own, we're gonna do it ourselves. Um, we're not restricted by any of that stuff. Our robotic part's going to be way more st stable, I hope so. But I mean, we haven't really done detailed physics simulation yet, so that's kind of the next big thing we're going to start tackling. Is this an actual whiteboard? Uh, yeah. So the way is to sort of break the simulation into into different layers. So at the moment we've done this Kepler simulation, which is the planet, um, you know, the laws of uh, Kepler's laws of planetary motion. Pre pretty straightforward and pretty simple. Um, so if you imagine that as like a point in space, um, and we simulate all its orbital characteristics. So I should probably say like this is like the orbit. Um, that's probably that black is going to be a lot easier to see um at the simple layer think of this as like aa bb um physics so uh this is like physics uh when nobody oh well i can't write watching right uh, I mean, nobody can even read that. I can't even read that. Um, anyway, so that's like, that's what that simple physics is. And we'll write that uh, ourselves. Um, it's it's designed to be very heavily threaded and very lightweight. And then as we move down the simulation, here we'll get into what I call detail or detailed. Um, and this will be Jolt. Um, SDK is, is the current front runner and you would have seen Brogan post about that. So what does that mean? If you imagine this here, let's do the sun and you get to see some amazing artwork. This is the beautiful sun. He's very happy sun. Um, and you have uh, a point here. That is the point in our Kepler simulation here. That becomes like a physics scene and simple uh, which is a whole bunch of referential if you imagine i'm going to try and hopefully you can see i'm going to draw like a command module and a service module these are two um uh part, or sorry two vessels i suppose to use kos you know terms these are two vessels in the simulation um that are referenced according to that reference point. And we can, uh, in the simple layer, we can think of those. Now, I'm not 100% sure on this, but I think we can probably do that with bounding boxes. So if you imagine that we turn these into boxes um, or some kind of simple um, colliders and rigid bodies under our own sort of, uh, we can do our own vague stuff there. But then if you have a camera on it, that's probably when we want to use Jolt. Now we might not even need to do this. We might not even need to do this. Jolt might be performant enough that um, that we can do it. And the early indications are, I, I thought it was gonna be a bit harder for us to multi-thread it, but the uh, Brogan might be here. Um, from enterprise team he he posted some images before he may have posted them in dev updates actually um but um he's got that multi-threading already um so it might be that to keep the projects simple we might be able to remove this entirely and just go to that now we can actually go in the other direction and we can actually this is what i'm hoping on here we layer on interstellar um 
uh, so I've been designing it in such a way that you can actually step up through the simulation. We don't have any, I'm pointing at the board like you can see what I'm doing, um, which you can't. Um, and look, I want to stress, this is still sort of a sketch, um, you know, but this is what we're working towards. The idea is the advantage of our approach with Brutal is that we don't have a game scene like you have in Unity or in Unreal. We um, we have no context. The It's like your traditional, I don't know, app for doing anything. Um, we have this simulation that we run ourselves in the background you would have seen us change the sim speed or we can just pass in a delta time and have a hundred thousand years pass if we want um and we get to abstract stuff out um and that's the idea of moving from say the kepler through to the detailed um we can sort of abstract it right because if you think about it uh if we have our command module here um, and then we have something else uh, like over here, um, you know, this um, has some other, I don't know, like a booster or something that's left over. These two things have no uh, relationship to each other. So why in a traditional game engine, why should they be running in the same physics scene? they should not they're entirely different there is no circumstance with we know for absolute certainty that the distance between uh these two physics scenes are um you know there's no there's no way that they could get together um now you have op trees and stuff and physics uh you know that normally hands with that stuff but but we don't i don't know we, we want to be able to multi-thread it, so we want to deal with those two things very separately. Yeah, that's the key there, like, to just explain it a bit to others is, like, um, that's the difference there, right there. So, like, in Unity and whatever, like, they're all in the same physics. It's all being simulated at the same time. Um, well, generally on one thread. Whereas here, we can have Jolt running separate scenes for objects that are on the other side of the planet. Um, that you're not even looking at um, running separately on a separate thread, completely separate. Yeah, so uh, hopefully that makes sense. Um, and um, oh, J Rod, our IT director is putting. Do you think it's too powerful? You can look at it on this, J Rod. A little bit, seems to have adapted. I think the AI is getting confused. It's partially probably because I have my office with the window when uh, blinds down. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I, hopefully, hopefully that just gave a bit of an outline. Um, it was just, it's a very good question. It's one we've talked about a lot. Um, and um, hopefully that uh, gives people some confidence that we've got uh, a reasonably good idea but this is the this is the kind of reason why it's really important for us to get early builds out to um, developers uh, sorry modders and stuff because um, yeah oh can I click change windows here oh I can that's actually cool yeah, so like you know this is where we're we're learning from the mistakes of the past so you know we've got people in the team who've had to deal with these problems before 